Welcome, this is Tom Harmer here to demonstrate how to use a programmed function key in order to copy email addresses from Craigslist over to an Excel spreadsheet and come back and grab another one. So here we are, we're in Craigslist. Let's go find the state we want to go to. Let's go to like New York. Okay, here's New York. That's a big one. Okay, here's the city. There's Albany. We'll take that. So here we are. And we're going to go to housing, apartment slash housing. That's where we want to go. Okay, so there we are. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and select uh, uh, advertisement and get their email address. Okay, so here we go. We take this first one. We highlight the address, being careful not to get grab any characters before or after because we only pay for good email addresses. Then I hit my function key copies, paste it, comes back, and then I'm ready for my next property. Click that. There's the next one. F5. There it goes. I'm back. And the next one. F5. Boom. You see how fast that goes? Okay, so that is a demonstration of how the function key works. What it's doing, I'll do it by keystroke here. I'm highlighting, of course. And then I do a Control C, Control C, Alt Tab takes me over to my Excel spreadsheet. Control V, Enter drops me down a cell. Alt Tab takes me back. And then I click on the left arrow there, and that brings me back to the original screen. So I did a back screen. That got me here, so I'm ready for my next one. So that's how much that one function key does all of that. Control C, Alt Tab, Control V, Enter, Alt Tab, and then back screen, and down. then I can pick the next one. So you see that's the process that I'm doing now with a function key. Boom. And look at that, it's back that quick in just a flash. It's off to my next one. So we can grab hundreds of these in an hour. So. There you go. There's a demonstration of using the function key. Now, the next thing we're going to do is demonstrate how to program the function key. Okay, so I've already got mine installed, which you do not at this time, which maybe you have, I don't know, but in any case, once you have, it'll co show up down here in your little icons in the lower right. I double click on it, and I've got a lot of function keys already programmed where you're just going to have a blank screen. But I'm going to go into one here and just show you a completed product. So I'm going to come here and edit. And this is the function key that I was doing. So there was that first one, Control C. I did it twice uh, in order to clear any prior copies. Then I switched to Excel. And then I did a Control V. I paused and then I hit the Enter and I did another pause you can't see. And then I switched back to Internet. And then I did a move mouse to coordinates 1336, which I'll show you how we find that. And then I clicked the left mouse button, and that brought us right back to that next screen. Okay? So I'll let that one go, and I'm going to create a new uh, uh, function key program. So this is going to be the uh, uh, email copy F6. I use the F6 key, so I give it a name. Okay, and then I come down here, I click on hotkey, and I'm not going to do any modifiers, so it's just going to be straight F6. I come over here, click on this little box under key, and I go F6, boom, that brings it up, so that's the key that I'm programming. Now I come down here, I'm going to go a keyboard macro. So I click on over here on the right, add commands, keyboard macro. Add command, so now I'm in there. I come down here and I go click on the control, that's the modifier. Come up here, C, and then I'm going to do that again. Control C, okay, and that's the end of that. So I save that. That's that first one. Now I'm going to come to window. I got to do that change in windows. Add command. Now I've got to go find. So we're changing to that Excel. I've, the name of that Excel file is um, is uh, uh, Excel One. Let's see if I oh I just saw it there. There it is, Microsoft Excel One. Okay. Now after we've selected it, we want to uncheck 
this title box because we don't want it to be tied necessarily to that name. Okay, so then I say OK. Now I've got I'm switching to Excel and I got to click down here, sw switch to window specified window. So I click on that, enter. Okay, now there you go. I've switched to Excel. Now I'm going to do another keyboard macro. Okay, and this one's going to be a control V for insert. So control C copies, control V inserts. And I'm going to start putting some pauses in here because I want it to delay a little bit. 200 millisecond to pause, control V. And then I'm going to, I want to hit the enter key so that it drops down a cell. And then I'm going to put another, I'm going to put a bigger pause in there because I want to see it happen and not, you know, not have the screen just disappear too quick. Pause. Okay, and that's that one. Okay, now, let's see, then I want to switch back, change windows back to the Internet Explorer. So I'm going to add command. I'm going to go find that Internet Explorer. And if you take a look over here in the Internet Explorer, we are, okay, we're on this screen here. Um, okay, so I'll see if I can identify that. Come down here, there's usually a name. Albany Apartments Housing. So that's the screen that we're in here. Albany Apartments Housing. So I click on that. I come over here and disconnect the title so it's not linked to just that page. Say OK. Come down. Click on Switch to Specified Window. Say OK. So now we switch back to Internet Explorer. And now I want to come here and do a mouse event. OK. So I click on Mouse Event. And I want to have my my cursor here move way up here to click that back arrow button to go back a screen. So I've got on my monitor, I've got two pieces of paper so I can know exactly where that little button is. Find that there and it says, notice here it says, it said 14, in that box it says 1034. Okay, when my mouse is right where I want it, it said, okay, 1637. So I go 16. 37. That's going to position my mouse. Say OK. One more mouse event. Add that command. And now we're going to have it click the left button. Boom. OK. And that is it. We have done it. We have programmed F6. So let's go give it a try. So I come here to my next field. And I highlight the email address. And I hit F6. Boom, look at that, I'm back. And I come back. I grab my next email address. And it's F6. Boom, so we come over here. Uh-oh, I've got a copy problem again. How do you like that? Well, Christy, you can see I have a problem. My copying was working very well all the way down to here. And then all of a sudden, it started not when it did the control C it didn't it didn't change what was in its uh, its memory and then it's every time it's duplicating it's not copying the there's that JVVBM okay so if I do that again here hit my uh, F6 come back here and you see it didn't get the new one if I come back and I come back in there highlight it again if I do my control C on my keyboard, control C, alt tab, control V, there's the new one. See, so the control C is working on my keyboard, but now let's go uh, back, come here, grab the next one, CCD, okay, now I go F6, come back, okay, that one. That one worked. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is a 6CX. Okay, F6. Now, see, now it's copying the same one again. So I don't know what the problem is there. Anyway, I think I'll just show you this so you can see what I'm working on. Okay? Mario, Tom here. Well, I thought it was working, except now the Control C for copy doesn't uh, do a control C each time. It copies the first one I start with and then does not change. I'll give you a demonstration here. I've got my 
F5 key program. So I'm going to hit my F5. Great. Okay, here we go. F5, boom. See, and if we flip over here, it doesn't change. It doesn't do a new control C. See, that's a VZ8S5. Come back here, and that's a Z3 PPV. So it's not copying. Now, if I come down here and I bring up my uh, hotkey master, okay, and I go to my F5 key here. Okay, so I've got macro is control C, pause 200 milliseconds, switch to Excel, and then control V, pause, enter, pause, and then switch back to iExplore. It doesn't do a control C when it returns. So there's my problem. Why is my control C? Now, you notice here if I do a control C, alt tab, control V, See, it puts in the new email address. And then I come back, go back, get a new email address, highlight that, and then, okay, then we come back. Oh, let's see, CZ4. See, and it's remembered. Which one is it doing there here now? Let's go back and do another one. I'll come back. Get another address. Okay. Okay, and then see, and there it goes. It's back to copying the same one. It doesn't copy the email address, D A C E at, and it's just repeating there. So I need to know how to get that control C to actually be a new control C. So I'd appreciate your help on that. Thank you very much.